It is time for the main event of the evening. Two of Canada's best 185 pound fighters. Patrick the Predator Cote set to do battle against submission master Caleb Starnes. The man from British Columbia to make his way to the cage first. He's of course Caleb Starnes. He's kind of had a rebirth in mixed martial arts, Robin Black. Yes, he has. He's on a nice winning streak. He's a very talented guy, and I almost hate even mentioning it, but a lot of people know him because of that failure to engage in uh, the UFC against Nate Corey. And I hate mentioning it because this guy is so much more than that. He's a fantastic fighter. He's an incredibly talented submission fighter. He's an incredibly unique individual as a thinker and as a strategist, and he's a dangerous opponent for Pat Cote. And Robin, uh, that event that you're talking about with Nate, uh, Nate Quarry took place in this very building. Maybe he can erase that memory with a spectacular performance over one of Canada's best. Well, that's what he's here to do. And you know what, like again, it's, it's tough to, to mention it, and this will dog this guy for much of his career, if not his whole career. But he's dealt with it like such a champion and like such a man. And if people are gonna accuse this guy of being, you know, of, of questioning his heart, the fact that he's had to deal with the way that people judge him and he's come back and fought like a hero and fought through all the booze and everything and continues to do battle like this says that he's got a huge heart. And one thing we know, one thing we cannot question is the submission prowess, the jiu-jitsu abilities of Caleb Starnes. We all know that it is Patrick Cote's, I guess, his Achilles heel. When he gets down to the ground, of course, he works at BTT Canada with Fabio Holanda and all the talented submission specialists that uh, they call that home. But will it be enough to deal with the submission abilities of Caleb Starnes? Well, Caleb Starnes is a submission artist. He sets up things. He, he, he paints a beautiful canvas before he chokes you unconscious. And Patrick Cote is ready to make his way to the ringside MMA cage. He would like to paint the canvas with blood. The blood of Caleb Starnes. Very nice. That is his goal here tonight. This crowd is getting up for this fight. This guy's a hometown hero. After George St. Pierre, he's the favorite fighter ever from the province of Quebec. Is this his own song? I don't know this song. I thought I heard the word Cote in there. Could be. Could be. I mean, this guy, people know him as a guy who tangled with Anderson Silva and was doing fantastic in that fight until his knee blew out. Since then, he's gone in a bit of a skit, and he's here to come back, make a big statement that he's coming back to the UFC. And the crowd cheers on their own. Patrick Cote, a man known as the Predator. For a lot of these guys, this is pressure. For a lot of the guys that were on the card tonight, 5,000 people in the Bell Center in Montreal, live here in front of so many people, is pressure. But for Starnes and Cote, this is just another night at the office. A big, full arena, getting ready to fight in a, I guess another professional athlete in front of all these people. This is what they do for a living. Patrick Cote is always business when the cage door closes. But will he be able to land those powerful hands on the jaw of Caleb Starnes? Well, this guy's a great fighter in every area. But when it comes to his boxing, just straight up ability to throw hands, move out of the other guy's way. He's fancy, he's technical, but he throws big, old, mean hammers. John Ramdeen and Robin Black. Your broadcast team from the world's only 24-hour combat sports channel, The Fight Network. You can check us out on thefightnetwork.com. Pat, very animated. You can see Caleb in the foreground there. Just relax. That's how this guy is. He's a different thinker. As we look at the tail of the tape, Cote, 31 years of age, 5'11", weighed in at 184.4 pounds, made his pro debut in 2002, Starnes 36, 6'3", 185.6 pounds at the weigh-in, made his professional mixed martial arts debut in 1998. Le roi du camion vous présente l'attraction principale de la soirée. Trois rounds dans la catégorie des poids moyens. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. 
Le roi du camion brings you the main event of the evening. Three rounds of ringside middleweight action. Les juges pour ce combat. Judges for this bout. Claude Paquette, Benoît Roussel et David Terrien. L'arbitre, the man in charge of the action, Monsieur Yves Laving. On est en finale, mesdames et messieurs. Je vous présente tout ta part dans le coin roi du camion. Monsieur Rassi Piedroit, présent 185 points ici libre. Introducing first, standing 6 feet 3, winning at 185.6 pounds. Service professionnel du monde, 12 victoires, 1 nul en 18 combats. His professional record shows 12 wins and a draw in 18 contests. He's from Surrey, British Columbia, Caleb Starnes! Son adversaire dans le coin, Carl! Il n'a besoin d'aucune introduction. Mesure 5 pions, pèse 184.4 livres. Across the cage, standing 5 feet 11, winning at 184.4 pounds. Sa fiche du monde, 13 victoires, 6 d'entre elles sont par KO et 3 par soumission en 21 combats. His record shows 13 wins, 6 knockouts, 3 submissions in 21 contests. De Montréal, Québec, 11 fois vétéran du UFC, 11 times UFC veteran, mesdames et messieurs, Patrick the Predator! Patrick Cote eating it up. He's having fun, but he's also all business. Take a look into this man's eyes. He's very intense. If you want to touch it up, do it now go back to your corner. Thank you, guys. The man to take control, take control of the situation. Referee Eve Levine, one of the best in the business. Step back a little bit, please. Hell of a sweet human being, too, that Eve. This bout. Three five-minute rounds in the ah, middleweight, 185-pound division. Fight! We Come are on, underway. Both fighters touch gloves. That's looking to start quickly. But will Starnes duck under and get the takedown? Koke with a nice kick to the thigh. Starnes tying him up, trying to get the fight down to the ground, and he does immediately. Wow, very intelligent fighting that's by it, Caleb Starnes. It's his ability to stay relaxed that really helps him out. He didn't oh, really crumble to the pressure, he got the leg, and he got the take. And now he's in the mouth, full mouth trap. Cote could be in big trouble. Starnes known for his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He is slick. He slithers on you. Notice the way he is. He's not exerting. He's breathing. He's staying relaxed. This is business for him. Goche. Taking his time, trying to defend. See the way Starnes has the right arm of Kote trapped. Controlling the wrist of Kote. Kote trying to turn in. Nice control position for Caleb Starnes here. Kote in trouble early here in this first round. This is what Starnes wanted. This is not what Patrick Cote or this audience wanted. Cote trying to turn into the guard. Explode around. Find himself on top. Starnes with the feet crossed. He's got a very slick Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artist on his back right now. And he is in danger. One false move. You know, and, and that's the end of the night. And that's the end of the comeback. Cote knows how important this fight is. Both men know how important this fight is. Absolutely, I'm very impressed with Caleb Starnes. He was relaxed, he just stayed relaxed, waited for the moment, it was all about timing, got the takedown, been in control for two minutes of this fight. And now he's got Cote thinking. Not only does Cote have to defend this choke, but if and when he does get to his feet, he's got to worry about the takedown. Caleb Starnes is changing the momentum of this fight before it even begins. Starts with his hand on his head. That's a control position in the right arm. And Cote, for the time being, anyways, doing a good job of defending. Starnes hasn't been attacking. Just 
trying to secure the position. Toke trying to turn in, but solid job done by Caleb Starnes. Wow. Is he going to flatten Kote out? One hook out. Kote trying to... Looks like he's going to try to stand up. Kote's going to shake that left arm. See, that left arm is going to seek both across. It's very difficult. One arm over the neck, one arm under the arm, and he's controlling the wrist as well. Caleb Starnes is looking fantastic. Kote now giving up his back once again, rolling. Starnes fishing for submissions. That rear naked choke being targeted over and over again by the Surrey BC native. Wow, Caleb Starnes is looking good. This has been a, a complete, complete domination on the back. Positionally, control-wise, he's the one initiating. And Pat Cote doesn't yet have an answer for this back control. Watch your finger. Starnes, though, hasn't administered any punishment to Cote. No, he's staying relaxed. He's just he's warming around him. He's, he's slithering. He's, he's sliding into these positions, and he's making it worse for Patrick Cote every move that he makes. He is making it worse, Robin, but you know, the longer that they stay in this position, the sweatier they're going to become. It's going to be more difficult to maybe secure the submission. Great point. And so far, yes, uh, Cote has not been able to shake him, but he also has been able to prevent uh, Caleb from getting underneath his chin at all. He's been able to control and defend this choke completely. There's a body triangle attempt right here. A bad spot for Cote. The body triangle. Cote can use that fence now. We saw some shots. Cote landed to the face of Starnes. Starnes trying to trap that arm of Cote. And right in front of our broadcast position. You can really see it. And you can see how relaxed Starnes is. He's just holding on. He's playing a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game against the technical, talented striker. In full control. The French fighter on the defensive. But round number one comes to trouble. an end. Cote took his right arm and tried to shake off the leg when he had the chance. And that gave Starnes the opportunity. Now Starnes he's looking for the arm lock. As the round is triangle. coming to an end, a triangle. reverse triangle choke from Caleb Starnes. But the, the round comes to an end. Cote saved by the bell. Wow, this crowd. Talk about rolling in from Surrey, B.C. and just shutting up 5,000 people. And we saw Cote there just shrug it off, saying, oh, well, I lost that round. I still have two rounds to win this fight.